If you have done a Windows 10 upgrade on your Stream 11 laptop, basically you'll see that there will be a recovery drive for Windows 8.1 seated in the drive itself. So the HP 11 laptop comes with 32 gigs of SSD. Therefore, once the Windows upgrade is completed, Windows 10 upgrade is completed, there will be insufficient space left for you to actually use the laptop. So what we are doing now after the Windows 10 upgrade, we will be doing a clean install to remove the recovery partition from the drive. Therefore, it will give you more space in the future for you to use your laptop more efficiently. Okay, without further ado, we will continue on to the process on cleaning, clean install Windows 10. Okay, for us to boot into BIOS, we will need to use the escape key and F10. So once we are in the BIOS, what we need to do is to actually set the boot priorities. As you can see, just go through the menu and uh, boot menu and set the boot priorities, boot options <coughs> to boot via the drive that you have created, the Win Windows 10 USB drive that you have created for this. So what you need to do is to move the USB hard disk to the first one. Basically, what you need to do is just to press the five or F six to move the. Uh, yeah. So once you are done that, so what you can do now is just escape it and uh, exit saving changes. Then you exit it and you'll be booted into the Windows ten ins installation. So it will take a while for the boot to happen, just make it easy and wait. So once you are in the menu, just click next and in install now. And there will be further boot into an options that is given to you. This does take a while. Okay, so just accept the license term and click next and do a custom install Windows. As you can see here, what we need to do is uh, the options below. So what we need to do now is to delete the uh, just delete the recovery partition of the old eight, Windows 8.1, which is in partition five images. Um, do not delete the recovery partition for Windows 10 and delete partition for the uh, storage drive. So. So what you have now is unlocate space, just click on new and apply. So then you will be created partition 4, then you just click next to install Windows 10 into that partition. And it will take a while for the setup, so we will just let it run. Once you are done with the updates, you will be greeted with the Windows, Windows 10 Creators Update screen, which has Cortana in it. Hi there, I'm Cortana, and I'm here to help. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. You can use your voice or the keyboard along the way, and if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the sound icon. If you need an assistive screen reader, press the Windows so basically what you need to do now is just to follow and complete all the setups that you need and put into Windows 10. So yeah, just follow the on-screen instruction and finish the setup. Okay, now it's time for configuring Windows 10 after the setup is done. So as you can see, uh, we have finished clean install of Windows 10 and this is the screen once we are done all the setup and stuff. So let's follow. Let let me actually go through some of the stuff that I do normally. So normally I'll just set this to Cortana button so to save up some space, and then just personalize. Click on personalize and pick up all the desktop icon settings. Normally I'll put all the icons on top, like um, all the network places, control panel on the desktop for easy access. And um, what you can do now is basically make sure that all the updates have been updated before you start doing this. 
So make sure all the Windows updates are done and get all the things done. So if you look at Device Manager now, uh, there are a few drives that is not available. I'll leave a link below on what you need to install in order to make the unknown device drivers to be updated. So now, once you've downloaded the drivers, so you need to install them, right? So if you check the disk management now, if you look at your disk, if you can see that the recovery drive is gone and you have a bigger space for your Windows or for your laptop itself, HP Stream 11. Um, so what the next thing that we need to do would be to install the item drivers that we need to install. What the first one would be the uh, <clears throat> trusted engine, execution engine interface driver. So you just basically let the finish install and yeah, just follow on the setup and make sure that it's installed successfully. Once it's done installing, just check on device manager to make sure that the drivers get updated. As you can see now, the drivers, or rather, is only left with one unknown device. So now we will need to actually install the second one. So now we will install the second drivers. Uh, but this is basically the synaptics touchpad driver to make sure that uh, the drive. The Mouse pad is working, the touch pad is working properly. Um, so we will still need to install this before we install the other unknown device that we have. Installing the touch pad drivers and it basically to make sure that you can actually use some gestures and stuff on your uh, HP Stream 11 laptop. So it's basically for easier navigation using the touch pad. So it is crucial for you to install the uh, touch pad driver as well. Yeah, I'm just follow the on-screen instruction and install the driver. Okay, once it's done, then just finish it and I'll just basically check the device manager. I change normally I'll change the computer name as well, so you can actually do a computer name change and yeah. Let's do a restart later. Want to. So the next thing we need to do basically would need to be installing the other drivers. So just install the other drivers. The other drivers would be the serial IO drivers. So just follow the on-screen instruction and proceed with the installation. Once the install is done, then uh, you can don't restart the computer. Then make sure that you just check on device manager to ensure that uh, the, the, yeah, the stuff is completed. So look at it now. All the all the unknown drivers are gone, and we have everything covered, which is good. So if you look at it now, the space that we have is only 10.4 gig, which is still quite limited. So what we need to do is to make sure that we do a disk cleanup as well. So to and clean up system files. So it will take a while to load for this. So make sure that you just wait it up, um, and there will display a list of selections for you to select. So you just select all of them for the cleanup to happen, right? Just select all the Windows Update Cleaner, Windows Dependent Virus, and select all the options that's available and then go clean on this, right? It will help after performing Windows updates, and this will be done periodically to ensure that the machines are clear of all the garbage. So, this will take a while basically, so you can just save it. 
and leave it running until it's completed. I won't be actually showing everything here, so once it's completed, what you need to do is just to redo and let this clean up again and to ensure that everything gets cleaned up as well. So same thing, go to clean up system files as well. And this time it should be a smaller size. So you just clean up the rest remaining one to ensure the drive is clean before we perform the next step. Okay, as you can see, the, it's only 8 Mac now. So basically what you need to do is just to click OK and clean up the rest. This should be finish pretty quickly. Yes, it's not very big, right? So, so just wait for it to finish and we'll do the next step basically to compact the drive for us to have more space. So after cleaning up, you will go to run administrator, or launch a command prompt and do a compact command to do compact OS. Uh, you can ignore the message basically uh, once you've done the query part, then you just do the always. And they basically will be compressing the OS. So end up you'll save up a few gigs of space if you, by doing this, which I think is quite beneficial. And it doesn't really has too much effect effect on the performance itself. It still performs pretty good. So when it's done, as you can see now, we have like 14 gig of space after the Windows install and stuff, which render this machine much better usage rather than the previous option that we have been left with like six gigs of stuff and all those things thank you for watching give it a thumbs up if you like it and do subscribe for future updates hope to see you again soon bye